Hello, welcome back. Last time we uh, completed our first flights, and uh, I ended off by getting ready to start gather science on KSC. So I built this sci cart, and let me load it up for you. I built this sci cart, and it has one of everything on there that I have unlocked so far. Well, two of everything. I have the barometer. I have two goos. Right here and here, I have a thermostat, a thermometer, and then I have the two um, Psy, Psy Junior, Psy Bay Juniors, whatever they're called. Now, what you do is you end up having a scientist drive around in this, and we go and uh, reset everything. We collect the data and reset it at every location. That way, we can keep moving on. I have a second little, what is this called? Uh, experiment storage unit here only because when you have duplicate things like a two goos and two side juniors then you can't store them both in the cockpit you have to have uh, they're considered a repeat so you store them here and you store the other ones in the cockpit and that way you can get all of them back so I still have a couple biomes where I can go to and I'll just show you guys those let's make sure I still have uh, Bob, and he's got some experience now, which is good. Send Bob out there. Oh, rolling backwards. All right. So I still need to do my gathering at the crawler way and at the VAB. I have got it at the um, tracking station, the R&D center. The astronaut complex, the administrative building, the space plane hangar, and uh, mission control, and the runway. I also took a trip out to the grasslands to get it there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit this crawlerway, hit this VAB, and then I'm just going to drive off the VAB, and I'm going to drive this way until I get to shores. Although I think there's a shores area over here, so I'm going to try to find that again. No, I'll just head that way. That way I know I can reach it. Okay, so it's pretty easy to do. You know, I have no SAS control because it's not a pilot. Um, you just turn on these engines and you just throttle them up a little bit, take your brakes off, and she starts moving. I usually cut. Actually, I don't know if I've... Yes, I've already done it on the launch pad. So you can... You want to stay around 10 meters per second. Faster than that, and you're going to start hitting things and uh, glitching through the transitions kind of hard. Okay, so I'm going to put the brakes on. And there's enough electric charge here so I can uh, transmit my crew reports as well. So observe Mystery Goo, observe Materials Bay. Observe materials bay. Once I get my uh, action keys, it gets a lot less tedious doing this stuff. So there, everything is gathered. Um. Yeah, so actually what I'm going to do for the next two biomes, just to make it easier for you guys to look at here, is I am going to pin these. I'm not sure if it's actually going to work because I actually leave the cockpit. Uh, Bob is going to get out of the cockpit and go and reset these, so we'll, we'll see here. So let's EVA. Yep, looks like they're all staying. Oh, nice. EBA report. I've already done an EBA report. Looks like I can collect, restore. Collect, collect. Oh, nice. Everything was in range for that. So, let's see as I get closer and have it in range. Oh, it does. It pops up. That's cool. All right, I didn't know I could do that. So, log pressure data. Whoops, cancel. Take the data. And now I need to go to the thermometer. Oops. 
but on my way by, I will store data in here. Take that out of there. So basically, I stored one of the, I stored everything I had except for one of the side juniors and one of the goos, and those will go in here with me. So now I have everything. Oh, did I never restore? I must not have restored the goos. Okay, now we're good. All right, so I have finished the crawlerway. Let's go to the VAB. The transition between the crawlerway and the VAB can be um, a little hectic. So I'll have my speed down really low as I cross over that transition. You can always just uh, time warp instead of going fast to get to where you need to go. So I'm going to start putting the brakes on here. The transition's right on this gray line. Yeah. I don't know why that happens. There we go. <laughs> just going to have to push yourself over it. All right. So here we are. We're going to log temperature, log pressure, observe, 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 observe. We have six items, crew report, we're going to transmit that. See, this happened to me last game too. I couldn't EVA because it says that I'm in the air. I think it's because I jumped. Huh. I don't think interesting. I don't know. Let's go off into the shores here and Yeah, it's not letting me EVA anywhere. Well, that's minuscule science, so we're not gonna worry about it. Oh, I thought I can't reset anything. All right, well, we'll just call it there. Um, I don't know why the game's not letting me EVA. Um, I'll just chalk it up to a glitch. And, uh, yeah, so I was going to go over to the shores and get a little more science, but honestly, guys, when you get to the screen, you'll see how much science I have from just doing what I did already, just doing the KSC locations. I'm at 223 science. I can pretty much unlock everything that I want to which I will do. Um, so, where do we want to go here? I know I can get two of these and still unlock this guy. Do I want to start probing? Yes. Uh, I don't really, if I get the probes, I don't want the flight control. I don't really need all this aerodynamic stuff, so I'm not worried about these two. I don't need that yet. This guy would be helpful, only to get the docking port, but I'm not really there yet. You know, I still have a lot of missions to do before I actually have to dock, and I'll get plenty of science from them. So I'm going to go with probe, flight control. Um, then I'm going to do general construction. And then we're going to unlock our next rocket tier. So I think that was a pretty good um, purchase. So I'm going to want to start using probes and getting satellites in the air for contracts. Get some more money. Um, so yeah, now we can go ahead and take the K1 capsule. And we can launch out of the atmosphere. And it's quite easy with, with, this, uh, with this booster. Can't remember what they call it. Thumper? Yeah. Oh, they, they redid the Thumper Booster. It looks nice. Okay, so about 91 tons. 
250, uh, 30% lead, 270, so yeah, we can rock about 30%, no, 40%, 40% of that, uh, be 25 times 4, be 125, yeah, that's plenty, it's actually too much, um, 35%, uh no i'll go oh it's 100 yeah that's that's good okay so again i'm not i'm not going to save it because i don't need to i'm not going to be using this configuration ever again once we actually start orbiting and let's look at what else we have here i have this new oh that's a big fuel tank one thing i really like to do i'm going to modify the k1 capsule bit. So I like to do this. Whoops, get rid of that. Close transfer off. <clears throat> I like to do that only because it puts the center of mass. So if you were to look at this, take this off, the center of mass is now just much lower than the pivot point of the uh, of the parachute meaning it'll keep the bottom down. It'll keep the bottom going down, which is what we want. Okay, so I have almost 2,000 liters per second of delta V, uh, which is going to be plenty. Way more than enough to get us up into the atmosphere. Okay, I'm also actually going to change the K1 capsule a little bit. I'm going to put a battery pack in here. Not sure why it's not. Oh, this doesn't have the antenna. <coughs> All right, so there's some batteries, and we definitely want to get our antenna back in here. Thought I saved it last time, but I guess I didn't. That's okay. It's a minor fix. So K1 capsule save. There she is. Attach this. There we are. So, don't save it. Uh, have anything else that I want to put on here? I don't think I do. I think the K1 capsule is pretty much where I want it to be for right now. Once we go and start orbiting, I'll put some uh, solar panels on. But just keeping the cost down right now. Okay. So, what we're going to do is. Jebediah is in there. We'll get him the leave atmosphere experience points. And then we'll be going to atmosphere a few more times. So um, I'm not too worried about not getting the experience points for the other pilots. Okay, just get these guys set up real quick. Once I get the action groups, this is going to be so much easier. And you might be wondering why I don't put a side junior on this. I just I don't like dealing with it. It's the added weight. It makes it look ugly. And uh, once you'll see that the si the science benefit just really isn't worth it in the long run. Okay, so we got all these ready to go. Close. Good here, and we are getting ready to launch. SAS is on. Boosters are on. Release. And we're going. Just going to time warp here, get us up in the air a little bit. First, I'm going to start my tilt. Just a few degrees. 
to the east. We've got plenty of fuel. Keep an eye on this apoapsis. Yeah, we got, we're going to make it there. Plenty. I'm already almost hitting two Gs. Turn a little bit more just to make sure I can uh, get us away from the space center. Oh, this is going to be cutting it close. Oh, yeah, we'll make plenty. All right, so now we just float our way up. Uh, we're going to turn to the side also. When you start coming back down, that's how I'll pop the booster away from me. And we're in space. So now I can go through, observe, observe, log, log, crew report. One, two, three, four, five. Very good. I can't do an EVA yet because I have to upgrade. The astronaut complex, which is no problem. We'll, we'll have a chance to do plenty of EVAs later. All right, so now I'm hitting the atmosphere again. We are going to separate. I am going to find my surface descent, which is pretty steep already. And we're just going to fast forward, take SAS off, and atmosphere will keep us in line. Like I said, I usually pop the chute about 3,000, that way it gets us closer to the water. Beautiful. Nice, so we left, left the atmosphere. And there it is, and we'll recover this guy. See how much science we got out of that. Should have been enough to at least get another node here. So I was already at, I think, 20 science. Oh, yeah. So we can unlock the next biggest rocket. Um, oh, no, we can unlock this little terrier engine, which is the key to getting to orbit. So we'll unlock that. And there we are. I think uh, that was a good episode. We did quite a bit. Our next goal was obviously to orbit Kerbin. And I think we are ready to go. It'll just take some building. And um, yeah, so thanks for watching. See you next time.